Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Card Game Review. Today's game with Tabletop is called Frontier the Card Game. Frontier the Card Game is a solitaire like game that involves other players, in which you're going to basically be starting with rations and bullets and horses and all the other great stuff. You're in the Great Frontier, and you're going to be basically a cowboy that's going to be gaining notoriety. You can turn into a rebel, to a gunslinger, into an outlaw, and then into a desperado. These are going to allow you to draw cards from your deck and basically experience the wild, wild west. When you draw a card, you're going to do what it says, and you have certain choices. And in that matter and basically be spending certain things to gain certain things just defeating people in duels and of course being able to buy from the shop at the beginning of your turn after you do that everybody else is going to do the same thing and rinse and repeat the game's basically going to be over when all of the gunslingers from the deck have been removed i think there's about nine of them or when one person has run out of stamina when that happens the game is over you tie up all of your notoriety or all your points basically whoever has the most points at the end of the game is going to be the winner anyway let's go ahead and check out frontier the card game down below so here we have frontier the card game all set up for you and this is all what you're going to get for one singular player. We've just set it up for one player because it plays one to four players, about 30 to 90 minutes depending on how long you last in the wild wild west and are ages 12 and up but really you could probably even go lower because it's very 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 simple. These are just extra cards I'll be showing you at the end of the explanation here but you're going to start with about six silver dollars. You're going to start with six horses, uh, six rations, six bullets, a six shooter and of course a holster. You're going to need holsters to hold your guns and of course over here are all the different stacks of cards. You're going to have rations or six shooters your holsters, your, your uh, bullets, your repeating rifle, your silver dollars, uh, of course your horses, and then these are notorieties. At a certain point, it'll tell you 5, 10, 18, 25 notoriety is when you're going to be able to get these cards. You're each notoriety, you're going to be able to draw an extra card during your turn, which can give you some benefits and some negatives depending on what you draw. These are the stores here. You're going to have the mercantile store, the gunsmith, and the saloon, and of course your stamina, which you start at 10. If it ever goes to zero, the game is over and you tally up your points, uh, including everybody else, and if you ever run out of of the, uh, the gunslingers or those nine that are removed from here, the game is over as well. To start the game off, it's fairly simple. You can choose if you'd like to go ahead and buy anything from these stores here. For instance, you can spend two silver dollars for one single bullet. So if you want to spend two of these, you can put a bullet down. But remember, only uh, bullet, guns can only hold so many bullets, and it's going to be based on the, the guns you have and which bullets you can buy. With a six shooter, you already have six bullets, so you don't need to buy any more bullets. Horses, of course, are pretty useful. They're going to be used throughout the, the game with cards in here and rations as well. I wouldn't buy anything in my first turn right now because everything seems pretty balanced and that's kind of how you want to keep the game right. It's a, it's a sim sim somewhat solitaire style game. The next thing you do is draw a card from the top of the deck based on the notoriety you have. So right now you just have one notoriety because you don't have any. You're always going to have at least one and you're going to encounter something. For instance, this little critter here. And this one right here says you need to spend a bullet or you need to spend a ration. If you do, you can defeat it. You can gain one stamina and gain one victory point. If you choose to run away, you have to spend a horse and spend a stamina. Well, I can go ahead and just shoot that down with one single bullet. And then, of course, I'm going to get my bonus victory point and I'm going to get my bonus stamina. Max you can have, I believe, is about 20. So I'll just go ahead and move that up. Now I've got 11 there, not 55. Uh, this is into your bounty pile there. And then you're going to continue the game with everybody else taking a play. But we're only doing the single player mode. So once again, we'll continue. I'm going to not buy anything from here yet either. But if I wanted to, of course, there's bullets and rations, the six shooter, there's a repeating rifle. And then over here, I can buy and also sell things there is a conversion rate which selling is not as good obviously than buying because these guys need to make a profit let's go ahead and draw another card this is a ghost town you're going to get one single free bullet which is pretty nice we just lost one and you're going to get two silver dollars i got two silver dollars all right and then after that this is going to go to the junk pile and then we're going to go ahead and let's keep going throughout the game this is a harmonica once you reveal it place this card in your bounty pile and on your next turn before you reveal cards use this card to gain two bullets well um Let's see, do I want to actually use that? Uh, no, I'm gonna, let's, we'll just save that for now. We'll continue. I don't want to buy anything yet. Ooh, Moonshine. It's going to give me another stamina. That's pretty useful. Let's go up again. And uh, now we've got 12. So I'll actually just go ahead and put one and two there for 12. This will go here. And we're going to continue throughout the game. There's Dynamite. When it's revealed, we shuffle this card back into the deck here. And if you reveal it again, you're going to lose six stamina. It's a good way to lose the game pretty quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle it through the first top of the deck. And we're going to continue the game. Here we go. This next one here's a coyote okay this one is uh it'll give you well was it? it's, it's we've got one notoriety and one victory point and then it's got the uh it, it, the cost of a ration a horse and a stamina now i'm pretty sure don't normally have to actually defeat these guys with uh, a bull or something like that let me let me see 
Okay, so here's how it works. Basically, you can defeat it with a ration, and you're going to get a notoriety and a bounty. If you chose to run, though, you'd actually have to lose a horse and a stamina. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of a ration. We're going to take this guy and put it over here. That's more victory points in the victory point pile. Also, one notoriety. It's one closer to my five notoriety for a rebel. I'm going to keep going here. Here's a scorpion here. I have to use a bullet to defeat that guy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I've got my notoriety. Another victory point. Here we go. We are getting somewhere in this game. There's a reward for plus two uh, notoriety. Uh, that's that's pretty useful all right and then um, let's go ahead and continue here what's this one here oh shoot a vigilante tb the vigilante we need to be defeated with five bullets and we do have five bullets so we're going to go ahead and use that that's going to give us uh two money two silver dollars four notoriety and five victory points i like that a lot here's more dollars this guy's going to go over here and now we have enough notoriety so we're actually going to be able to get to be the rebel the rebel is going to give us an extra card drop at the beginning of our turn but before we do that because i have no bullets i need to buy some bullets so i'm going to go to the gunsmith and spend uh, money for bullets. Actually, no, the mercantile. Uh, two silver dollars will get me a bullet. So let's go ahead and buy some bullets here. We need uh, one and two and three. Let's go ahead and four. I'm gonna spend this for four bullets because we really need them right now. I'm afraid to come against something that's gonna hurt us. So now we've got our bullets back. We still have a couple dollars if we need. And now we get to draw two cards. The first one here is a bank. That's gonna give us notoriety. It's gonna give us uh, coins. Gonna give us minus stamina. So we'll go down to 10 here which I guess we'll just do a five and a five. Now that's pretty useful, right? Let's see, uh, the $3, I like that. Uh, there you go. And uh, the next one we have to draw on the same turn. Yet again, another bank. And you get the idea of the game. It's going to continue like that until your stamina either runs out or you kill enough of these guys here, tally up your total amount of points. And of course, certain things are going to be worth certain uh, certain uh, amounts of points here. Of course, obviously tally up your total player score. And in the rule book somewhere, it will tell you exactly what everything is worth at the end of your turn or at the end of the game. And out of all that, whoever has the most points is the winner. And not only that, but at the very back of the book, it has this kind of little thing here that shows most wanted. And then of course, their total bounty. And you can try and beat these guys here in the solitary mode of the game. So let's talk about a couple of the interesting cards in the game, other than, of course, the uh, buying stuff and uh, what we showed you already. So we've got this one right here. Then you can purchase two of the following from the prospector. So you can bust for a silver dollar, you can get two bullets, or for a silver dollar, you can get two rations. That's pretty good. It's much better than the store. The gold mines for some uh, gold rush for some money. Dynamite where you take damage. A tombstone once revealed, place this card in your bounty pile and add it to the end of the game. If this card is in your bounty pile, it's worth two bounty. That's pretty sweet. Here's another one, an iron horse. It's going to cost your stand, but you're going to get some good stuff there. Another bad guy to fight. He's pretty easy. I like that. A coyote, of course. Another one that's going to give you a notoriety, a certain uh, type of vulture there, and then calamity jail. Yeah, once you reveal it, you end, uh, it says once revealed, your turn ends. That means, okay, no more drawing cards. Even if you have five notoriety, it doesn't matter. Your turn is done with, and you're going to pass it on to the next player. That's the basic idea of the game, Frontier, the card game. Pretty simple, right? Let's come up and talk about it. So just before we get into the review, let's go ahead and talk about some caveats. The first thing is the repeating rifle. You can't sell it. Once you get it, you keep it. You're also going to need holsters for your guns. You can have more guns, but you have to have a holster in order to use it. And of course, when you buy guns from the gunsmith, you're going to get bullets for free with it. That's very, very nice. Um, not only that, but also there's going to be cards called trading posts, which you'll be able to trade with other players. That's a pretty useful aspect in the game that encourages a little more cooperation. So when that pops up, you'll be able to trade based on whatever you see fit. There's, I think there's a couple other cards that do that as well. And um, there's a character that will also give you weapons and stuff when you defeat them. So there's a couple stuff like that. But for the most part, that's the idea of the game. Go throughout it, finish it by destroying uh, the bad guys, or of course running out of stamina. Because in the Wild West, it's very difficult to uh, survive. 101 ways to die in the West, right? So anyway, let's talk about the game. Well, this is to me a solitaire game. It does have a little bit of um, a little bit of cooperative, cooperative aspects to it. There's a little bit of competitive aspects as well. We're we trying to get farther and better than your opponents. It's a nice way of playing kind of a dueling solitaire game with other players. I'm trying to keep up with them against their points and whatnot. And uh, it's also going to limit you on what you want to trade with them people based based on how well they're doing or how poorly they're doing. Um, I like this game. I think this is going to be a game for those people who enjoy these specific solitaire games. I can't really see it as a game which you're going to be working together cooperatively, trying to help your opponents and all that kind of stuff. People aren't going to like it if that's what they're going to assume this game is about. This is more about sitting it down, having all your stuff, doing your best to get the highest score you possibly can. It, like, it really reckons me back to solitaire. And I mean, my grandfather was checking this game out because he was a big solitaire fan, so I wanted to show him this one as well. And he was having a good time with it, trying to get to the end. He played it... Uh, 
countless times because he, he really enjoys that kind of thing. So if you like that kind of thing as well, it's definitely going to be one you want to check out. The artwork's pretty good on it. There's tons and tons and tons of cards. There's enough to play all up to four players easily, and uh, which is very, very nice. The only thing it doesn't come with is the uh, dice here. Uh, the card that says you... You have to end your turn when you draw this card. I don't normally like losing a turn kind of cards, but realistically, when you're so far in notoriety, where you're drawing four cards, five cards, and everybody else is down to two or three, having that card kind of puts a little stop to that nonsense. At the other end, though, if you only draw one card and you draw that, it just ends your turn. Uh, turns are quick, though. Really, really quick. You're going to buy or not, and then you're going to draw a card or cards. Pass continue like that. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was a lot of fun. It's not a game I'm specifically going to pull out all the time, but when I really feel like just sitting down playing by myself or uh, giving it to a friend or a neighbor who really enjoys these kind of games, I'm definitely going to do that. I have an extra copy to give away as well on the website, so if it's something you're going to be interested in, a good solo player game, Frontier, the card game is something you want to check out in the description below.